Hey everybody, welcome to Final Cut Pro X Tutorials.net. And in this free video, I will show you how to add lower thirds to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10. We get this question all the time, so I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how to do it. So here we have a video clip of somebody at the beach with their dog, and I'm going to add a lower third to this clip. So what you want to do is come over here and look for the letter T right there, which is the Titles Browser. Click on the T, and that opens up this Titles Browser. And at the bottom here, you see Lower Thirds. If I click on Lower Thirds, that'll open up all the different Lower Third options in this area here. And if you look up here, if I hover my mouse over these different Lower Thirds, it actually will give you a preview of what that would look like. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Little um, dog print. Uh, and there's just all kinds of different lower third options. There's, you know, professional, there's artistic, um, there's funky, you know, there's tons of different options you can do. So um, you can play with it and choose what you like the best. So I'm going to try out this paper one. Let's do the paper lower third, for example. So to add it to your video, simply just click on the lower third to select it. And then hold your left mouse button down, and as you're holding that mouse button down, just drag it over and drop it up here. Now, you don't want to drop it directly over on top of the video, you don't, because you don't want to replace your video. So move it above the video until it looks like that. You see it turns into a purple rectangle with a line that goes down to your video. That's what you want. I'm still holding my left mouse button down, by the way. And then you can just kind of drag it to the exact spot you want it and then when you have it where you want it just let go of your mouse button and it puts it in place and so if I play it up here that lower third pops up on the screen now don't worry if you don't get it in the exact right spot you can always move it so once you've placed it simply just click on it and it selects the whole thing just hold your left mouse button down and you can drag it and move it anywhere you want also, what you can do is you can just click on it, grab the end by holding the left mouse button on the end, and drag it. So if you want to extend it to be more than just a couple seconds, you can do that. You can make it as short or long as you want. So you can put it exactly where you want and actually uh, have it go as long as you want as well. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually edit the lower third itself. So to do that, there's a little arrow on it on the left hand side. So if you click on that, brings up this menu, click on edit effects. And now up in this area here, that will give us all the effects for this lower third. Now here's a tip for you. When you're editing the lower third, make sure it shows up in this preview window. Right now, our playhead is right here. So I want to move the playhead over to where the lower third is so we can see what's going on while we're editing this lower third. So now it shows up in the preview. To edit the lower third, there's a bunch of different options. There's title, text, video, and info. So for example, on the title, look at all the changes we can make. You know, it's got line one font. Uh, currently the font is impact we can change it to anything we want and as we do look at it over here as I kind of hover over the fonts it changes and gives you a preview of the font let's do this font you can also change the size of line one you know make it larger or smaller etc and then line one color as well let's kind of give it a Let's give it a green and then of course you can do the same thing for line two as well then we can come up here and click on text and there's more options here as well up here besides the normal text that we have look at all the different text effects that you could do you know calligraphy chrome um, 80s aqua fade a text with shadow um, so many different um, options blue wave let's try that one that looks definitely different 
If you don't like it, just click Edit and Undo Style Change, by the way. Um, you can also change the alignment. So you can align the text left or right or center, for example. I kind of like center. And change the spacing. You can add outlines and glows to it if you want to, just by clicking on these areas. And a drop shadow, I do like the drop shadow. So you can do anything you want with this. Any kind of font, font size, put it in the exact position you want quickly and easily. Now, let's get rid of this second box here, description. I'm not going to want that. So all we do is double click on that description box and it kind of brings up the text box. I'm just going to hit the delete button once and that's it. So I've now got rid of the description box. So I'm going to click back on the browser there and we're going to go back to the effects and now of course we don't want to just leave the lower third called name <laughs> so let's double click on that we're going to highlight the text that's in there and we're just going to type whatever we want a day at the beach I want you to notice up here this is where our text is so I can actually get rid of name just by working up here in this area and there we go now we have a day at the beach so let's take a look at it now on our video let's hit play boom a day at the beach and that's a nice looking lower third and that's how easy it is to add lower thirds now you can also you know just change it if you want to um, here's a kind of a cool torn edge one of the lower thirds I like to use quite a bit is the gradient center so uh, if I do that I could drop it on top of the one we just did and replace it and since I replaced it it kept our text uh, it what I could have done is deleted that one and started over with a different one, but then I would have had to go back in and change the text, which is not a big deal. It only takes a few seconds, but um, if you, uh, I'll show you again. If you want a different one and you want to keep the text that you've already set up for it, like here's formal, just drop it on top of the one that's in there and click replace and it keeps your text and then of course just like the other one we can resize it move it all that kind of stuff so that's all there is to it that's how you can quickly and easily add lower thirds to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10 now if you haven't already gotten our course on the basics of Final Cut Pro 10 make sure and pick it up at finalcutprox.tutorials.net